Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. How are you guys doing as we hit the midweek? We got some snow today. Uh, we started about 1 o'clock. It's almost 5 now. Well, it's 4.30 now. Um, we got maybe about an inch so far. Not quite. Probably about a half an inch. They're saying up to 2 feet. I'll believe it when I see it. I think it'll probably be just enough to uh, justify the snowblower. Although I've gotten to the point where I can justify the snowblower for a half inch. I don't care. <laughs> it moves the snow. That's all I care about. It's funny. I've, I've got neighbors that, you know, if it's not over a certain amount, they'll shovel it. I live on a corner property. i got a whole drive that I have to do, and then, and then I wind up doing the neighbors on both sides. So I'm doing like half of a city block. Um, I, ain't, I ain't shoveling that. <laughs> Not when I've got a snowblower sitting there. So, I've got my Wednesday pipe um, and I'm smoking Boswell's private stock. Very nice um, Virginia Preak and I'm sadly out of it now. But I know where I can get more. So I had an interesting uh, thing happen to me twice actually. Um, very strange. I went to the post office. I was mailing some uh, some pipes to Australia and I go to the post office and I fill out the custom form the way I always fill it out and I wrote on the customs form pipes, you know, three three pipes. Uh, th I'm sorry, three tobacco pipes. And the guy, the postal worker that I've done this with, that I, I always wind up at the same guy, I, I probably have done this with him 20 or 30 times. He looks at the form and he's like putting stuff in the computer and he looks at it and he looks up at me and says and he's dead serious there aren't any tobacco in those pipes is there i said no no they're tobacco pipes but they don't have tobacco in them well i better add the word empty and he <laughs> takes out a pen and he adds the word empty i'm thinking really we we've gotten to that point where we have to we have to say empty tobacco pipe uh, and then, then after those particular pipes went away, I thought, well, they weren't actually empty because I, I filled them with, um, with paper. Uh, that these were pipe mortared, and I didn't want the mortar to jostle around too much, so I, I stuffed paper in there just to kind of cushion it a little. Uh, yeah, <laughs> are these are they empty? There's no tobacco in those pipes. And then it happened again, uh, which is one pipe, but the same same thing. Are you sure that's empty? No, it's 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 packed with tobacco and lit. I just wrapped it really fast. Ah well. I suppose they're just doing their job, but if that's the case, something's changed over the past uh, month because they never did that before. Speaking of change, one thing that I should recognize that I haven't, um, you know what, before I get to change, I'll get back to that thought, but I do want to uh, mention that our friend Cliff Higgins is still sick. Um, you probably saw the post I put up the other day, and other folks have put out prayer requests for Cliff, and I, I echo that. I, I want everybody to pray for Cliff and Cliff's family. Uh, if you don't pray, good thoughts, all all that that jazz. But uh, Cliff has got COVID and he's having a rough time with it. And I got a message from him this morning saying that he was headed to the hospital. So, you know, he's he's afraid that it's going into pneumonia. I I sure hope not. But uh, I let him know that there are prayers flowing from the whole YTPC for Cliff and for his family. His wife is also po uh, tested positive. And I believe he said two of his kids have tested positive. So uh, this is going to be 
a rough couple of weeks for the, the Higgins family. So keep them in your thoughts. And uh, if you're the praying sort, please offer up a few prayers uh, for, for Cliff and his wife and, and his children. And uh, while you're at it, for, for everyone that uh, is, is affected by this, this virus, um, you know, it's... It's got its, uh, it's got a ridiculously good survival rate, and it's not, it, I don't think it's as worrisome as the folks want us to think, but at the same time, when you get it, it's not fun, um, you know, it's, it's not a cold, it's, it's more than that, so just, uh, you know, pray, pray for those folks, and pray that this, this ends soon. You know, we get past this and we have to get past this. Okay. Sorry, I turned praying for Cliff into a bit of a soapbox moment there. I apologize for that, Cliff. I think Cliff understands me, though. So, change I wanted to get back to. And let me just grab my tamper. So, a big change that we should have recognized by now, and I, I have not brought up in a, in a talk yet, is that YouTube has changed their advertising policy. So when you watch a video now, whether or not the video maker has monetized, you're going to see ads. And, you know, when, I, when there's an ad on my video, I can't tell you if it's an ad that's there because I monetized the video or if it's an ad that's there because YouTube put it there. Oddly, most of my videos are, are not suitable for monetization and yet they're running ads. I don't know. This disturbs me and I know it's disturbed a few other folks. You know, I I get that it's a company and they have to make money and advertising is how they make money. And it just seems to me that the This change is just about making more money. You know, it's it's not... I, I can't understand how YouTube might have been suffering prior to this. I don't understand why this change was necessary for the continuation of the company, for the satisfaction of their stockholders. This just seems to be, let's make more money. And, yeah, they're within their rights to do it, certainly. But... It bothers me. My wife has taken the house apart of there. So it bothers me, and for two, I've done two things. Well, I've done one thing, and I'm seriously thinking about another thing. So I've been thinking about monetization, and, and you know, is it worth the trouble? So I'm, I've told you this before, guys. I make 10 to $15 a month, if I'm lucky, from the ads that you see. And I don't get paid until I, I break a hundred dollars. So I'm getting, you know, one to maybe two checks a year from YouTube. Uh, they're a hundred and some dollars, so you know it's not nothing. But it's not like there's this steady stream of income coming in. And the way I've always looked at it is, well, that you know that buys a couple of tins of tobacco. That lets me buy some ebonite rods to do. Um, to do some stems, or it lets me buy SD cards for the camera, or a new camera. Uh, you know, I, I put that money back in, or I smoke it. <laughs> this is the two, the two choices. So, I've always been comfortable with it, but now that YouTube's adding on top of that, I just feel like it's, um, it's potentially making the videos harder for folks to watch. And I don't like that. I don't know what the solution is. You know, I've, I've thought about, and I really don't want to do either of these things. You know, I've thought about the tip jar um, for the live streams. I don't like that. Yeah, it just it doesn't feel right to me. Um, I, I, yeah, I just don't like it. I don't mind asking you guys to watch an ad. I don't want to ask you guys for money. That just that just isn't right. And the other option, of course, is is Patreon. But you know, same problem there. I'd have to have something 
that I could give you above and beyond what I'm doing for the folks on YouTube, and I don't know what that would be. You know, I, I just really don't know. I could, <clears throat> you know, giving you first look at videos isn't really helpful to you. It's really valuable to you. Um, you know, I thought about private live streams, but yeah, what's the point? The, the fun of the live stream is the group that's there, so why have a limited one? Um, I don't know. I, I just, I might just turn it off and forget about it, you know. It's, uh, it's probably, it's probably not worth wasting this much time thinking about, to be honest. The other point, and, uh, this one I have acted on, is I've gone and set up an account on Rumble. And if you're not familiar with Rumble, Rumble is YouTube without all the censorship. And it's it, that doesn't mean that it's Wild Wild West. It's pretty well moderated. You know, there's no adult content. There's no uh, illegal content. But, you know, illegal in our sane sense of the word. Uh, there's a lot of political stuff on Rumble, but there's also a lot of, like, you know, DIY home improvement stuff and things like that. And I thought, why not? You know, it, it, it doesn't cost me anything or really take all that much more time for me to be posting to two platforms. And this seems like the best option. Now, they, they're, they're early. They don't have any live streaming capabilities. Uh, so, you know, it's not it's not a replacement for YouTube, but... If nothing else, you know, we all talk about the day coming when YouTube's going to say no more tobacco videos. I don't think that day's coming, but you never know. So, I figure it'll be nice to at least move some of my more popular videos there. And I'm going to be releasing them in serial, series, uh, in a serial fashion. So, the nice thing about that is if you guys haven't seen my old videos, if you go over to Rumble and subscribe to my channel, which is Kane Ron Piper, by the way. Uh, you'll get notifications when I put up a new old video, and you can kind of watch them in the order that they were, they were released. So right now, my corn cob pipe modification series is, is moving over there, and I'm doing one video release each day until all that series is up. And I'll probably continue to do that, and I'm going to start cross-posting these videos to, to rumble. I'm probably not going to do that until next uh, the next Sunday. So this one won't go over there. So, something to think about. If, if you got a got a little bit of time and you want to go check it out, I'll put a link below to, uh, to rumble. I don't think I can link to my channel. It, it doesn't, it, the setup's not exactly like YouTube. Um, but I, I'll, I'll link to what I can. If I can't link to anything specific to me, just go there and, and search for Cane Rock Piper, and you should be able to find me. So I'll look forward to seeing you over there, and I'll look forward to continuing to see you right here. So with that, guys, I think I'm going to let you get on with your Wednesdays. Um, just remind you that this Friday we've got uh, Cane Rod Pipes a conversation with pipe smokers. And our guest is going to be our buddy Couch of the Dunning Kruger Show. Couch is a lot of fun. Uh, can't wait to, to uh, chat with him. And uh, yeah, there, there's that. And then a week from today, Wednesday, December 23rd at 8 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be doing a special episode of Can Rod Pipes Live. Uh, it's a Wednesday night, and we're going to be interviewing Santa Claus himself. So. This is your opportunity. If you ever had a question for Old St. Nick, uh, anything from what pipe does he like to uh, why didn't I get that bike when I was 11? Uh, you still believed in Santa when you were 11, didn't you? Anyway, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, he, he's looking at it as an opportunity to let his hair down and not have any kids around. And I have flagged that video as being 18+. Uh, plus. So... Uh, the reason for that is I, I don't want any kids to accidentally stumble on <laughs> our, our chat with Santa. Because uh, I, I can imagine some of the directions that will go in. So both of those, both of those events are 8 p.m. Eastern. Couches this Friday. Uh, 
Santa is next Wednesday, the 23rd of December. Hope to see you both uh, at both of those. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your week, and uh, we'll, we'll see you on Friday. Take care.